Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and we are back in the land of Godot because there was a recommendation. I check out a powerful add-on for the Godot language and it kind of turns Godot into a GDScript programming IDE. I'll show you exactly how this works in just a second, but if you're doing GDScript development inside of the Godot game engine, you're really going to want to check this one out. By the way, this recommendation came to me via the Game From Scratch Discord server. If you have not joined it, by the way, it is a very cool place to be. All right, so here we are. This is Godot uh, 4.4. Uh, this is the... Um, third-person demo from GD Quest, by the way. I just happen to have this because it's a project I already had open for a previous video. Now, what I've done is I have copied the add-on in. It is an add-on called Script IDE. By the way, you can also add it this way. So just come on into your asset library, search for Script IDE. Oh, all right. I guess you got to get the dash in there. So we'll just search for Script, and you'll find it. It's available right there. Go ahead and install it, and everything we're about to see will be available. So once you've done that, go ahead, project settings, and it is available here in the plugins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back on over here to uh, our project like so. I'm going to pick a script, such as this player script right here. And this is the default IDE. So this is how things look uh, for GD script development just out of the box. So once you've turned this add-on on, which by the way, you do via plugins, script IDE enabled. There you see the results immediately. So you see that left-hand bar goes away, um, and then we now get per tab for each of our IDE, uh, so each of our open files. And then you will see over here, uh, we now have this uh, inspector window for drilling down and narrowing things down and so on. I'll show you exactly how that works in just a second. So once again, on, off. So this goes away. This filtering is replaced with this little overview window on the other side. And you get a couple of other changes and improvements as well. All right, so we got that going on. Let us see what we can do here. So let me get rid of my output window here. So this is with it on. You're going to see over here, you've got filtering. So you want to see if you just wanted to see, for example, the callbacks. You can right click and get just callbacks. Or you can right click and get everything back. Ditto here, just these just these, just these, and obviously you can navigate to something over here. Another cool thing that they've done here is when you open up a file, so for example, I am in player.gd right now, and you'll see player.gd is selected, but let's say I went to um, demo page.gd, it'll automatically select the appropriate file over here in the file system. Nice little things that it does for you in that regard. Again, you have your filtering down here. You can also right click and get everything back. Quick jump to what you need over here. Uh, and then there are some other tools in here as well. So again, obviously it moved it so that all of your things are using your traditional tab layout that you would expect from say Visual Studio Code. Uh, we also have a couple of hotkeys. These are all configurable by the way. Uh, what you'll find here is you go to editor, editor settings, and head on down to the plugin area right there. You will find script ID has its own selection of options here. So you can do things like hide private members, uh, script list visible, and then you can set hotkeys for all of the things that we're working on here. And you can turn uh, filter things on and off. So if you do not want them to show up here in the filters, uh, you can just turn them off completely. So we got a couple of different things we're going to show in action here. Uh, one of the cool things that they've done is added uh, shift ta or so control tab and then control shift tab, your traditional way of tabbing between uh, open scripts. So again, if you're used to something like Visual Studio Code, this gives you a much uh, more consistent user experience for editing those functions. Uh, we have another very cool feature in here. I'm gonna hit shift and then shift again. Oops, I hit caps lock somewhere in the middle. All right, shift, shift, and you get the search right here. So you can find, um, again, we've got uh, all of the various different uh, filters, files here for everything. Just, I could search for screens in the scripts and so on. So let's say I was looking for the link button script. Boom, I can find it that way. So again, all of your various different things, your resources, your full projects, uh, and then everything are all available here through this quick shift uh, search option available via double shift. Nice handy feature there. Another one we have here is the uh, control U. So I hit control U and it brings up a quick launch between. So basically these tabs right here, you can bring those up by hitting control plus U and filter via the various different scripts that are available that way as well. And then this outline, especially if you wanted to close it down or minimize it, you also have the option of hitting here and do control O and that will do a pop-up version of it instead of over there. So again, control O brings back, click away and it brings them back that way. So if you want to have this thing instead as a pop-up, again, control O and it will bring it up for the currently selected script. So if I come over here to weapon UI, for example, and then control O, it will be for the weapon UI script. And again, you can filter down to show just 
the uh, entries under a certain kind, or you can right click and bring them all back. So we switch to navigate here to the switch to function uh, as an example. Uh, and then that's it really. Um, it, it's again, it's just a set of scripts and tools that make the GD script editing experience much more IDE-esque. So you got this outliner filtering thing here. Again, it does have search built into it. Uh, you have it switch to tabs. You have hotkeys, uh, oops, control Z, uh, hotkeys for switching forward and back between those tabs. You have the double shift search pop up over here. You have the control plus O uh, quick overview or outline option here instead of having it over there. And then, of course, we have this, the filter scripts option there for a quick pop-up to navigate between your scripts that are available. Uh, and that is it. Uh, so once again, it is available on the asset lib here. It is called Script IDE. Also, if you want to go ahead and check it out, it is available up on GitHub. If you do like what you see here, do make sure to give him a star. Uh, so these people seem to very much like that. There was a new release just a couple of days back. And again, it gives you an idea of what it is capable of. Uh, you can also navigate the outline via arrow keys and page up, page down. Uh, but number of different options available here. And again, everything that we just looked at was fully customizable. So if I head on back over here, once again, editor, editor settings, script IDE. So you can turn the things on and off that you do not like, and you can set a hotkey, uh, change the keys out for any of these actions. So if you want something other than control O, you can configure it here. So you can set up your hotkeys to work however you wish for pretty much everything that script IDE does. So ladies and gentlemen, if you ever wanted to turn the Godot scripting experience into a little bit more IDE-esque features, that is exactly what Script IDE does. And I pretty much like everything it does here, but let me know what you think. Does it do something that you don't like? Are you looking forward to it? Are you going to check it out? And again, if you do check it out and you do like it, give them a star. People do appreciate that. All right, that's it. Script IDE for Godot, turning Godot into more of an IDE-like experience. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.